Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create an animated GIF file for a classroom website. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Do you want to add a little bit of fun and excitement to your classroom website or learning management system? Well, you can do just that by adding an animated whiteboard video to it. And today we're going to convert the video into a GIF file or GIF if you prefer. And we're going to use Doodly to do that. Doodly is a simple yet powerful tool that allows you to create animated whiteboard videos. It's perfect for educators who want to add engaging content to their websites or LMSs. In our example today, we are going to turn it into a GIF file so that you can add it to your system or share it via email just like you would any other image file. Because it is a moving image file, we're going to keep the video short and sweet, around 7 to 10 seconds. Today, my concept is simple. I want to show my students how to use a basic search engine. So we need to start with a brand new video. So I'm going to go to my videos and click on the create new video button. Let's give it a title and select our background style. I like the whiteboard style, so I'm just going to stay with that. And I am going to choose 720p resolution and I'm going to click create. The first thing we need to do is add some images. I'm going to use a mixture of doodly standard images and then maybe one that I found elsewhere that I'll import. So let's click on props and I would like a magnifying glass. So I just typed in mag and already some came up. And then next let's add some text. So click on the text tab and select one of the fonts. I like this one, it's big and bold. And I'm gonna double click and we're gonna just type in and I think I would like it to word wrap so I'm selecting that and I'm gonna center it and then just make it larger. Okay, so that looks okay for our first part. I wanna add another scene. So I'm gonna click this little plus sign down here in the timeline. And now we're going to give them the instructions on what they need to do. So they're on a computer. Let's go back to props. Let's just type in computer. And let's just find a suitable one, like this one. And now we're going to bring in a little search engine image that I found on freepick.com. So I click that blue plus sign and then I just browse for my file, drag and drop it in. And we we'll just resize this a bit. And that'll be fine. Now we want to give them instructions, right? So there's not going to be audio because this is a GIF file. So we're just going to go ahead and use text. I like this image, but what's going to happen is Doodly by default scribbles it on diagonally, and I don't really like that, so I'm going to fade it on. Click Edit, it's a little pencil icon, and then over here under Reveal Mode, choose Fade, and that's just going to fade on nicely. Let's take a quick preview, and then we'll do some adjustments to our timing. So the hand comes on and draws that. And it kind of races through that, and then it draws on the computer, erases, and then it does all that. Okay, so that's the important part right there. So keeping that in mind, this is the important part. We need to make some adjustments. So let's go to the first scene, and let's tell it to just have this already on. Okay, so it's not going to draw on. It's zero seconds for that. It's just going to be there. And then we'll have the hand draw this on. We're going to slow that down just a little bit. And then we go to our new scene. And I think I will also have this computer already in place. So I'm turning that to zero seconds. And then this is going to fade on, but it can fade on much faster. Do one second, and then these, that one will make it a little slower. Click on scene settings, extra time at the end. I'm gonna give it about five seconds. 
so that they can read it and figure out what that is, okay? Go over here to settings in the lower left, erase mode, off. If you want to change the hand, now's a good time to do it. I think it's fine. Let's go with this one though for fun. And then let's change the color of our instructions. So you click on it, click the gear icon, and then the color swatch. I'm gonna go for red. And then I'll do the same here. And that's looking a little better. This does get a little lost because it's so small and then this sentence is very small. So I am going to add a camera move and we're gonna zoom in on this. So go over here to this little tool here. It's your pan and, and zoom tool and click the little plus sign right next to it. This adds an effect. And then we're gonna position where in the timeline we want this zoom to happen. So I'm thinking probably around here somewhere. I double click it and you can control your camera basically. So I want it to start full screen. Then I want it to end zoomed in on this. So something like that. And we hit apply. Now we can watch the preview this way or go to this little show preview window and it'll be a little easier to figure out where exactly you want to place that because you can control where the playhead is. So when the hand is drawing this Google part here, I think that's when I would like it to start zooming in. So I have my playhead here and I'm just going to drag this over to it. And then now, that's perfect. So we've created our video. Now how do we turn it into a GIF file, or GIF file? Well, you go over here to export, and you're gonna make sure your MP4, it's a couple steps, you like your resolution, that's fine. Just double check that your destination is where you want it, or you can change it, and then click continue. And it'll take doodly a minute or so to export it as an MP4 file. Well, we want it to be a GIF file, right? So we need to do one more step once this is done. While this is exporting, let's go over to easygif.com. So this is a free online site. You could just search, you know, video to GIF online. And this will come up as well as others. So you can explore and see which one you like. A lot of them are free. I'm just going to drag and drop my completed mp4 file. So Doodly is done with that so now you just drag it into place and then you hit upload video. And here's the video that we just uploaded. Now you go down here and make any changes that you want. You want the size to be the original up to 600. Remember ours was 720 so that's going to be as high as we can go It's just the original. Oh, we can go original up to 800. So let's do that one. And then you can choose your frame rate. The higher the frame rate, the better the quality. So we had what, it was like 15 seconds. So we can go up to 20 frames per second on that. So that should be fine. For method, if you have transparency, there is a preserve transparency option. And I'm just going to use the default and I'm going to go ahead and click convert to GIF. And here it is. It's identical to our video except for it's got a slightly lower frame rate and it's now a GIF file. So it's an image file basically. So we can now save it by going here and then you can use it just like you would use any other image file. You could put it in your emails to your students and parents or you could embed it on your website or put it in your social media feed or whatever it is you want to do with it. And that's the basics of how you can use Doodly to create a short little GIF file 
and convert it using an online converter. I hope this gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching.